Hi everyone, welcome to Collective Worship today. It's right in the middle of October now, isn't it? And I expect you're all starting to feel a little bit tired as we head in the last couple of weeks towards the half-term holidays. Let's start today's Collective Worship with just a few moments of quiet. Just see how quietly you can sit while you wait. Now we're all nice and quiet and ready to begin. We'll start by saying, we meet in the name of God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Now, I wonder, today's collective worship is going to be all about the importance of rest and the difference between rest and hard work. So I wonder, do you like doing house jobs? Do you like doing chores around the house? Do you have jobs that you have to do quite often around the house? Things like washing up or cleaning or putting the washing in the washing machine? What about taking the rubbish bins out? Now I wonder, who does the jobs in your house? Is it you? Or perhaps it's your mum or your dad? Or maybe a grandparent or someone else who helps in the home? Now I wonder, what would happen if nobody did those jobs? There would be no cups or plates or bowls to use when you came to dinner. There would no dinner be cooked to be put on your table. There'd be no clothes ready for you to wear and piles and piles of rubbish everywhere. Because whoever does that job, whether it's us or whether it's someone else, they're working really, really hard to make our homes somewhere nice and clean to live. And Jesus told us a story in the Bible about hard housework. And it's about two sisters who are called Martha and Mary. So let's read it together now. It's in our Storyteller Bible. It's not fair, moaned Martha. It's just not fair. I've cleaned the house from top to bottom, scrubbed the floor till my fingers hurt. But all my sister Mary does is sit there, sit and talk to Jesus. It's not right, moaned Martha. It's just not right. I've plucked for chickens, baked for bread and sweated for hours over a hot stove. But all my sister Mary does is sit there, sit and talk to Jesus. It won't do, moaned Martha. It just won't do. Mopping up, washing up, tidying up. I've done it all and I'm fed up. Because all my sister Mary does is sit there, sit and talk to Jesus. There she is. There's Mary. Can you see her sitting with the dog in her lap, listening to Jesus? And look, there's Martha too, tired and cross and fed up and saying so. Oh, Martha, sighed Jesus. Martha, my friend, I'm so glad that you invited me to your house. The place is spotless. The food was delicious. But you mustn't be angry with Mary, your sister. For she has made the right choice. Cooking and cleaning and washing up are important. But sometimes it's better to put away your brushes and cloths, to rest and to sit and talk with me. 
the end. So I wonder. I wonder if the words, it's not fair, have ever crossed your lips when you were asked to pick some toys up off the floor or put some books away on a shelf. I know I might have said that a few times. I wonder, think back to the story, which of the two sisters was doing all the work? That's right. It was Martha saying, it's not fair. And can you remember what the other sister was doing? Yes. Mary, the other sister, was sitting down with the others, listening to Jesus and what he was teaching about. And which one did you think did the right thing? That's a little bit of a trick question, isn't it? And Jesus tells us so at the end of the story. He says that he's really pleased that Mary wants to sit and listen to his teaching because that's really important. It's important to learn and it's important to rest and it's important to spend time in relationships and with one another. But then he tells Martha that her work is really important too. And that's because I think it's all about balance. You don't want to have all work and no rest because then you'd be very tired and you don't want to have all rest and no work because then you wouldn't get any of the jobs done. And so actually we need to have a bit of a balance. The word that Jesus uses for that in the story today is sometimes. He says that sometimes it's good to work really hard and sometimes it's important to rest as well. So let's just think for a moment. Who works hard so that you get to have a rest? Maybe it's your parents or your grandparents, or perhaps it's your teachers. Maybe it's even the people who come and clean your classrooms at the end of the day. And I think it's really good to notice that people do these things for us and to say thank you to them. But sometimes it's also a really good idea to help them out if we can. Because by us doing a little bit of a job, then they get a little bit more rest. I wonder, who do you think you might be able to help this week? And how? Now I'm going to say a prayer. And if you'd like to make it your prayer too, you can say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, we thank you for all the people who work hard for us, for our parents and grandparents, our teachers and the people who clean our schools, people who keep our city clean. Help us to try and help others where we can so that the work is shared and everyone can rest a little. Amen. So now let's finish with the blessing that we use every time, shall we? May the strength of God be in my heart, the peace of God be with everyone and the love of God be between us all. Amen. Bye everyone, see you next time.